Ryan Oaks from Stamford, Connecticut, wrote to us and told us he wants to see what it's like to be a magician. So since we're having a magic party, we sent him to spend the day with two of the funniest and most talented magicians around. <laughs> Ryan Oaks loves magic and wants to become a professional magician. So we sent him to New York City to learn the tricks of the trade from the amazingly weird and wacky Penn and Teller. Yes. My name is Pam. Very nice to meet Pleasure you. meeting you. And my, uh, my partner, Teller. And uh, you are here because we've heard that you want to be a magician. I'd love to, yes. I want to be a magician because uh, I just love getting up in front of people and performing. I like making people laugh. I like entertaining them. And we would like to try to convince you to go into rock and roll <laughs> or perhaps junk bonds where there's more of a future. Okay. But if we can't talk you out of it, we've got a few things we're going to show you. Fantastic. Some of the best magic can be created right in a house, and it's easy and fun to set up. Here, Ryan, let's step right over here and let's make some jello. Okay, now here's a more fun part. You get your jello made, it's a little bit firmer. Now we're going to make blood. We're going to put this in a plastic bag. Okay, okay pour it in there. There's a surprise up. load, right? This will be a surprise load. Oh, Not okay. for the people watching now, it won't be a surprise. <laughs> but if you were doing this, you'd be doing it secretly. Good. And then you seal up the bag. And now just give a little snip there, snip off the excess. And it just gets put right in the jello. And we're going to put that back in the refrigerator and we'll come back with the next step. While the jello firmed up in the refrigerator, Ryan got to learn firsthand how important preparation and timing are in pulling off a magic trick or illusion. You want to take a regular card trick where we would have a card supposedly selected, actually forced, so people don't really have a free choice. And then instead of just putting the knife the teller would have through the card, we wanted to put it through my hand and the card and have blood. Using a pre-selected card with a prop knife attached, Penn and Tella showed Ryan how even dangerous tricks are totally safe. However, they have years of experience, so for your own safety, do not try this at home. This is what's going to have the knife go through my hand. It's a half a knife hooked to a little container that has blood in it. After Tella is blindfolded, he hooks the knife behind him. Then Penn simulates the motion of getting his hand in the way of the prop knife. Even though Penn and Teller make illusions look easy to pull off, it takes a lot of practice and a quick sleight of hand to be a master magician. Go ahead, go ahead. And is that your card? No. It's the wrong card. Oh, oh, well, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this, but give it one more try, Teller, okay? And so on. After mastering the card trick, it's time to check up on dessert. You would serve this to your guests, you know, after it's all made and all gelled. And then you would just stab into it. Go ahead, give it a shot. And then tell Tommy to be spontaneous, to be a magician. You know, you gotta sit there and surprise people, really get them to jump out of their seats, you know. So really get into the magic and enjoy it. How do you guys come up with your tricks and gags? Well, you know, uh, a lot of times when kids start in the magic, they'll think the way to do tricks is to, uh, is to go out and buy a trick. You go to a magic shop and buy a trick. Or that you read a book and read about a trick. And that's a good way to start and to learn about things. But what you really want to do is decide what you want to do and then figure out how to do it. There's really no overall tricks. We said, wouldn't it be neat if you had a dessert that bled? And then we found a way to make a bleeding dessert out of, uh, out of edible things. How long does it take you to practice and perfect your trick? Well, that's, uh, it depends entirely on the trick. When there's bleeding jello, we've got the idea that the dessert should bleed and tell her playing around forever in his kitchen, finding the right the right formulas. Do you have any advice for me and other young people who want to become a magician? Yeah, make sure that everything you do uh, is really safe. Okay. That's the bottom line. Make sure there's no way anybody can get hurt. And once you've done that, go over the top. Go wacky, go mad, go gory, go insane. What's uh, Teller up to right here? Teller's up to a uh, really stupid trick that is in no way uh, gory at all. This is a little thing he made out of an orange peel that we're going to give to you because we think, frankly, it's, it's too stupid for us to do. Brian's time with Penn and Teller was over. He had lots of great advice on becoming a professional magician to take back home. I had a great time. I learned a lot. Thank you very much. I think I know what to do now. Well, there's one thing you have to always remember, and that is never give away magic secrets. And if you've got two 45-degree angle mirrors under a mirror table, keep them real clean. Okay, right? Thanks a lot. Bye, man.